Hello, this is Andrew from Trend Follow and Mentor. And in this today's short discussion, I'm going to talk about Apple and how people were shocked how Apple fell. And using the techniques in which I teach, um, you really wouldn't even be in this trade. <clears throat> I also want to inform you I have a book coming out called The Bible of Trend Following, How Professional Traders Compound Wealth and Manage the Risks. And I invite you to pick up the book. Let's jump to Metastock. Actually, this is Apple. Very simple ideas, what we do. <clears throat> we look to buy the strongest and sell the weakest. But when we trade the stock market, I don't look to go short because there's just too much volatility at times. And you actually, through all the testing that I've done, you make more money on the long side. So what I do <clears throat> is when we're above a 200-day moving average, I want to buy the strongest stocks. Well, I do a search in Metastock that I built, and it ranks the markets. And clearly, because of this down move, Apple wasn't one of the strongest markets. I wasn't in this trade. Actually, this trade would have been exited here. The fact is, there was no reason anyone should have been long at this point. So when you had this big down day, it should not have come a surprise. I mean, there's all kinds of reasons and rationale and all this. But the fact is, using the methodology, you want to buy the strongest stocks. When the stock market is healthy, you put on a low risk bet, which means that you're risking, let's say, 1% of your account size. I would not suggest more. What does that mean? Let's say you have a $50,000 account size and you only want to risk $500 on a trade. So you look at the risk from your, let's say if you had an entry, from your high to the prior low, and then you figure out how many shares you can trade. And then this, it's just a trailing stop to keep you in the trade. There's people that get out because they get bored. I've had students that have done that. The idea is this keeps you in the trade and just kind of you set the trade and then you have to see what happens. But once you're in a situation like this, there's no reason you should have been long. No reason whatsoever. But again, it all boils down to your time frame. And mine is a daily time frame here that is demonstrated on this chart. Again, this is for educational, that you have to believe that anything can happen when you're trading. And you really need to have rules. And if you don't have rules when you're trading, you can really have some serious problems. Again, this is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor. I invite you to learn how to trend follow. I teach you exactly how I do it. And then in my book, everything is written. And actually, you can even read the foreword on Scribd. And actually, the foreword was written by, I don't want to say it, a money manager who's been around since the 80s. So he understands what it takes to be successful over time. <clears throat> Again, I invite you to pick up the book, come to trendfollowingmentor.com, learn how to become an independent trader. Thank you.